Hello, Fleetful followers. Is your dog feeling a little bit of pain in their joints? Maybe they suffer from arthritis or any joint pain at all. Or maybe you just want to make sure that their joints are healthy. Well, today we're going to talk about the best natural foods to help keep your dog's joints nice and healthy. Okay, so there's loads of things on the market out there which you can buy and use, but actually some of the best remedies or the best things that you can do is to feed your dog natural foods and a variety of natural foods to ensure that they are keeping their joints nice and healthy. It's important to say also that all of these ingredients should be given in moderation. And if you're unsure how much to give, please do contact us or contact your dietary professional, your vet professional. Um, it's important that you don't give too much of these ingredients because it will make your dog very ill, just like if you gave us too much of the ingredients. So first up is a superfood, which I think humans have also been eating for ages. It's blueberries. So here we have some lovely blueberries. I love the way that they taste. They're so nice. And you can grow these so easily as well in your garden. And they do really well in pots. They do need special compost. They need acidic, acidic soil, ericaceous compost but they're so easy to grow in the UK. So I'd really recommend, recommend that you do this. You can grow loads of blueberries and then freeze them and then you'll have a fresh supply all the time for your dog. Blueberries are so good for your dog because they're full of antioxidants and they're great for inflammation. Second on our list is a very important one. It's algae oil. I've never tried to grow this at home, but we do recommend this human grade algae oil. It's a super super oil which contains omega-3 fatty acids it contains dha and epa which are essential for your dog's uh, joints they're really really good for everybody that it's amazing for brain development for cellular development but we would recommend this brand <laughs> it's together um some people recommend flaxseed oil for for dogs with joint problems um, unfortunately, dogs can't absorb flax seeds um, as well as algae oil. So this would be our choice. Number three on our list is turmeric. Turmeric uh, contains curcumin, which is known to relieve pain and stiffness in joints. So it's an excellent source um, for your dog. Some people make it into a golden paste with coconut oil. There's plenty of recipes out there. If you have any recipes, let us know. Please do send us a comment. Um, you can actually grow turmeric yourself as long as you have quite a, a warm and humid environment. Um, I've done it in the polytunnel before, but I just buy it organically in bulk and then hold it in these jars. Next on our list is a surprising one. It is sweet potato. So sweet potato is an excellent source of beta carot carotene, which is known to be really good for inflammation. These are difficult to grow at home. I have tried. You have to start them off with your own water, but please do give it a go on your windowsill. You will need a warm polytunnel or greenhouse to give it a go. Next up, we have ginger. Now ginger contains gingerol, which is a known anti-inflammatory and pain reliever in dogs. You only need the smallest amount though, and you can get it fresh like this, or you can get the powdered form, which you can buy organic from any health food shop. We also use ginger in our Umamio protein powder pack for toppers and treats. You can use this powder, which has a really an excellent source of ginger in it, to make treats, which will help your dog live a long and healthy life. So there you have it. All the best natural foods to feed your dog if they have joint problems, if they're arthritic, or maybe just getting a little bit older and you're worried about their joint. It's particularly important for Fleet too because of her breed. She does have or has had problems with her joints in the past and now she no longer does, which obviously I'm delighted about. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, please do let us know what you'd like in the description in the comments below. Also press the subscribe button and yeah, just keep in contact. Take care, stay healthy, keep your dog healthy 
and also give your dog a hug for us. Lots of love. Bye now.